Adobe Design to Print is a free plugin for Adobe Photoshop that makes it easy for you to take your artwork and create products for sale on Zazzle.com, where you can earn royalties for your creations, helping you turn your passion into a paycheck. Let's start by building up the elements of this particular design. I've actually got some libraries that I'm going to use to provide the background. So I'll first of all start off by bringing a beach scene into the frame. And drag this, make it nice and large so that it fills the background of the cell phone case. I'm actually going to then start creating some frames to put my content in. Now, what I'm actually going to do is to put some placeholder images in my design so that I can actually work with them. So if I go to File, Place Embedded, pick a picture of a little dog here, I'm going to change its size so that it fits nicely on the back of the cell phone case. Now what I'd actually like to do is put a frame around the little dog. So I've got some more graphics here. This is a little pattern that I created earlier. I can drag this in here as well. Actually, I'm going to change the size of this as well so it fills the back of the case. Not too big for the little dog. He's hidden there. If I change the object, the order of the layers, I can actually see how the dog fits relative to my shells in the frame. I'm going to create a box and use the marquee tool. Draw a rectangle around the photo, and I'd like to make this frame slightly larger. So I'll use the selection tool and modify this to expand it. I'm going to grow it by 25 pixels, should do nicely. There we go. I can see my crawling ants around the edge of the dog there. And when I click on the, I've got the shells layer selected. I click the quick mask button a very easily created little frame like that. Now when I publish this design, what's going to happen is the beach and the shells and the dog will be uploaded as a single image. I actually want to make them separate so that the customer can actually swap out the dog and put their own photo in. So what I'm going to do is to create another layer group. If I go here and select new layer group, I'm going to drag this up here so it's separate. So group one is separate to group two. I'm actually going to move the Westy picture, the picture of the dog, into group two, so it's a separate object that can be uploaded. Now if I were to publish this right now, the dog would be a one image, and the shell frame, and the ocean beach will be a second image, like that group one and group two, two separate objects. Let's press the publish button, select object level upload, and I can see when I click the edit design button, I have indeed got two separate layers. One has got the beach, and the frame on it, and the other one has the picture of the dog. Now that's not very easy for a customer to be able to personalize, so I'm going to make a further change. What I need to do to enable my customer to easily personalize with their own photograph is provide a special name for this particular object level group. I'm going to give it a name called Picture. And you'll notice that I've put angle brackets around the name of the layer. When I press the Publish button and select Object Level Upload, you'll notice that on the website, the button has now changed to say Personalize. And when I click the Personalize button, the user has the opportunity to change that picture for some other picture that they have. Here's a picture of our toddler, for example. So it's very easy to create a design that can be personalized by my customer so that they can actually choose the pictures that they would like on their cell phone case. I hope you found this video useful. If you've not done it already, you can download Design to Print at this link. There are more helpful links in the episode description below. And be sure to check out the other videos in this series.